Today we're going to introduce the features of InfoMini, which is an interface that you can use to make your own modifications at runtime, using ribbon options that are enabled by the content creator. InfoMini can be enabled for charts, reports, and documents. The functions available in InfoMini allow you to change the way you view the content. You can make changes using the tabs that the content creator enables. You can then click Run to view your own versions of the content in InfoMini. While the changes that you make in InfoMini do not affect the original file, you can save the changes in your own version of the content, allowing you to preserve your work. InfoMini includes the Slicers tab and the Format tab, which enable you to change the chart type, output format, and apply slicers to filter the content. When setting up the InfoMini interface, there are two sections of the menu for enabling different types of options. The top two options enable you to select the tabs that will be available when content is run using InfoMini. The Format tab and the Slicers tab can be made available. When running content in InfoMini, the Format tab contains most of the same options that are available when creating content. If the content is a chart, you will have a choice of chart types, with the exception of the chart types categorized as Other. Additionally, you can change your content's output type. For example, you can change your output to Active Report. This format enables you to filter a chart by lassoing or pointing to sections of the chart, or to access a wide variety of filtering and visualization options for a report. When creating content, the remainder of the options available in the Format tab are also available if you enable the Format tab for InfoMini. For example, you can enable Auto Linking and Auto Drill. The other available tab is the Slicers tab. Creating a slicer and enabling the Slicers tab in InfoMini allows you to filter the content on demand. Creating a slicer is as simple as dragging a field into the Slicers tab when you are creating your content. Filtering data using a slicer can significantly enhance the effectiveness of your content. The remaining options determine how you apply the changes that you make to your view of the content. By default, Run Immediately is turned on, so the content loads automatically in its default state. Deselecting Run Immediately will give you a chance to choose slicers and make formatting changes before running the chart or report. You can also choose to have InfoMini applications run as deferred. Deferred content is saved to a server, where it can be refreshed at intervals over a set period of time. To access deferred content, open the Tools menu and click Deferred Status. Setting InfoMini to run as deferred will still allow you to open content as usual, but it enables you to use the Deferred Status interface to access every modification to your InfoMini content that you have run until the deferred content reaches its expiration date. From the Deferred Status interface, you can permanently save the versions that you find most valuable. Since an InfoMini application contains a subset of the functionality that is available in the full version of the report or chart in InfoAssist Plus, you can easily build one, providing the runtime user with the option to interact with and edit the report or chart. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.